What's up guys, we're here for another week of Tower of God. It was quite a mix up this week though because they couldn't get the approval from Apple to update the app. So we were supposed to have maintenance on Tuesday night and it ended up happening on Wednesday night. It was pretty awkward, but this week allows for us to go into chapter 17 now for the story mode. Can't wait for that. We're also going to be in our last week of the Destiny Summon. And we're going to have a new unit of Donghei Hot, who is really not that great to talk about it shortly. And he was buffed on top of that. We also have the Story Clear Package Part 2 coming out in the special packs. So always really good value to clear through all of these. I don't really need the diamonds at this moment, so I'm probably not going to actually get it. Um, but when I do, I'll end up doing it because you do get 5,000 diamonds for clearing all these chapters from 11 to 17. And for one of the most weirdest things that happened, or like probably the worst things they've done so far, amongst other things, there's probably things that they've done. Um, so, originally White Candy was splitting with the White Heavenly, and now he has his own separate fate. Which is just horrible, I mean, if you plan on using, you know, White Candy instead, you're gonna have to go into him as well. Um, you know, when they first came out, they were together on one fate. And then they figured, probably we'll make more money if we can get people to get Starlights and Fates and raise up a second one. So now he's split, he has his own Fate. Donge Hots is going to also have his here. You can see here, First Orn's Fate is like really full. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to be getting Blue Theresa Bomb very shortly. Um, there's still a lot of units to come out before we even get Enryu and everyone else, but Global's doing its own thing and... I don't know where they're going to start putting in these units at this point. The web is so full. And then something that was probably overlooked, because it just got added yesterday, was that you can now pull for white in the blue summon, and you can actually use your destiny card on him. So as a reminder, guys, there is no such thing as a limited unit in this game. They will eventually be added into blue summons. Even with enough time, seasonal units will be added to the general pool for the blue banner. Um, right now, we're at the point where we're going to get white. We give it a little bit more time, and Albelda's going to be here. So, if you've been saving up Destiny cards, you don't have it maxed out, now's your chance. Take this into account when you're using your red summons, because your reds just allow you to get that unit right there and then. Or, you can eventually just get Destiny cards and max them out in the future. Then we have Donge Hot. So he is a Tower Climber Kasano, but he is a physical damage version. While Kasano is a magical. So he's gonna end up basically just hurting himself and doing additional damage on top of that. Now even with his buffs, he is still not a must pull or must have unit. Um he's really not that great. So don't feel pressured into getting him. You could probably only use him for heart tower of uh, hardship right now. If you get him T6 and he's just not worth it. So his first skill is just going to do a knockback. Do damage. Second skill just ends up doing damage. Third skill increases his physical damage and gives him CC immunity. Plus tier 3 gives him a crit damage boost by 30%. The transcends only give him extra damage for his skill 1. Extra damage for his skill 2 with the second dupe. But the fifth one decreases 30% of damage that he takes. Uh, for 6 seconds, so that's pretty good. And then his EX ends up dealing damage. If he ends up taking his own HP when it's over 50%, it makes sure that it's a guaranteed critical hit, which is very good. And then his tier 6 increases his critical damage by 30 seconds for 7 seconds. He also has his Ignition, uh, which seems decent. I mean, it's just extra damage, also has a stun. But all in all, I mean, I don't think he's a great character design. Doesn't really look that strong or cool. And I personally don't like Kasano. I'm not a fan of Kasano. When I try to use Kasano, it doesn't work out for me. So a unit that requires a healer to do any kind of damage is just really not worthwhile. You're forced to using two units regardless. And we're fortunate to have Albelda be a healer that is in every single comp. But, I don't know. It, he just seems like a complete skip to me. At this point, you guys should pretty much just be waiting for Enryu. The game is pushing out things way too fast in Global. You can't really keep up with this. I really wish they would slow down because it's just... 
pushing a lot of players away. So I guess before we continue into the video, I just want to say that I am going to uh, keep the Discord open for now. So you will see the link throughout every single video going forward. Even right now, if you're not in the Discord, now's your chance to get in there. Now we go into the real spotlight of every week, I guess, is the packs. So, um, honestly, very interesting. I think the most interesting thing is this. So, there's a brand new weekly pack now. Which is actually ridiculous. Um, so, three times a week, you can get one of these. Give you 300 hourglass. It gives you the 24 hour hourglass chest. So, that just gives you your hourglasses based on what you would claim from the pigeon the eagle, Gryffindor, whatever you want to call it. Um, but for $5, it's like insane. This is like ridiculously cheap, I would say. And you can get this five, uh, three times a week. Um, I'd say that's like really crazy. And it shows you that this company will sell their own grandmother to you if it makes them money because they just put everything for sale. Like every single thing is going to be... You can pay this to save the time and skip the time. So we're going to get this for now. Scoop those up. Only because I'm right next to Hideout 7. However, I do feel like this is going to be something to get every single week until you can unlock the last Hideout. And it's going to take a ridiculous amount of Hourglass. So before this, I had 313 Hourglasses. I would have been at least probably a couple days away from getting Hideout 7. But now, I'm able to get this. So Hideout's level 7, and the reason why it's so important is because it unlocks a new guardian that visits your hideout. So we have uh, Evan's little frog thingy. And this just gives you basically a rice pot gold chest and extra things. You can also upgrade this with the purples now. So, this is interesting. Uh, not only does it give you the gold chest, and they get better as you upgrade. But it also gives you a chance to have a 3% chance to recover a craft failure item, which I think is very good. Um, I almost want to upgrade this instead of going for the pigeon now. But we could claim the pigeon now. We're also going to have the next set of relics, so I'd probably be pushing these weekly packs until hideout level 13. And you can stack the effects. So you can have the same relics and you can end up going for the same damage set. I am just short one relic pretty much. Um, but I could just put it on there for now even though I'm not going to use it. Actually I could put this one on so it would be better. So now I end up getting a 6% damage boost combined. I'm not sure which one is the better one to put next to it. Um, I have a theory that if you had triple attack speeds across the board it would be insane. But you do need hideout level 13 probably for that. But I think damage boost for the red set is probably still better. So um, I don't think I would need another scout relic. I feel like I would need either. Fisherman could be good. I do kind of want to get the Molik scout relic though instead. Because it gives a flat damage boost to everything instead of regular boss monsters. But that's a key unlock right now. We can also place another character here. So I do like that Global at least is getting a lot of quality of life. And they're adding really small things. Like, you know, you see this highlight up top. Uh, it just allows you to get visual. I'm all for visuals. Like, I love visuals. So the fact that they're doing all this, um, I'm, I'm happy to see the small details. You know, they even updated the research journal now. If you go into it, you're going to see a lot more things going on through that. So we're going to get this going. We're gonna, I'm actually going to upgrade the frog fisher, I think, though. Uh, as much as I want these hourglasses, it just takes so much to go to the next step. And I'm so far away from that one. So I will prioritize into this a little bit. Because I wonder how far I can go. I feel like eventually you can get the 24 hour. Will we even see its effect happen if it recovers? You probably wouldn't even notice if the chance does occur. But I can get for level 3, so it's a 6% chance. I would actually value the craft failure chance over anything. 
now I would end up needing 63 or 7.5%. I think at this point, maybe now I'd stop doing it and go back to Hourglass or maybe after level 4 I would do it. Um, but it's pretty cool. This is another podium up top. I'm assuming that when you hit level 13, you'll be able to have another Guardian up there. And we're still waiting for the next wave of the residents to come through. That should be happening very soon. I mean, if they add it to Chapter 17, they should add the next wave of residents that's from Chapter 6 all the way to 12, or at least Chapter 6 until 10. That would be some more power, as you can already get some of them from the dispatches anyway. So moving on to the rest of the packs. Now, I will say, and it's like a thing to go over, is that Global is just doing too much. It's rushing way too much. And it's burning out and killing off a lot of players. I know two players near 1 mil power or 1 million power already quit the game this week. Because, yeah, this game is just too much. It's overloading. If you're trying to be at a super top whale level, you're pretty much forced to get every single pack, max every single unit. But you're accumulating these units that you're not even using. And that's extremely horrible because you're just basically wasting money. You're not getting any value out of it. Um, I myself am really planning to take a huge step back so i am like if i need it i will go for it if i don't i won't so right now i don't need the gold and this is a monthly pack so i'm gonna wait i don't even really want to get the weekly gold pack because i am sitting at 200 mil i could probably get another 50 to 100 mil in my inventory so i'll wait until sunday to see if i'm doing this but for me, this week has blown by. I can't believe I did a video a week ago because I've been so busy with, with work and things at home that I just feel like I missed out on at least a month. But it's only been a week. Daily pack-wise, I'm pretty much cut off now. I'm not doing it anymore. I don't even care. It's just like I just don't need I just don't need packs anymore. Um, Event-wise, I think I'm still going to only get reds because I do have to kind of keep up with the new units. Even though I don't have to, I choose to, I guess. The level up package, I'm not going for. Um, it gives you only 10 starlights. I don't really need the fates, and I don't need the books anymore. So, yeah, I'm just not going for level packs. This legendary gear, now, it would be great, but it gets really bad. So after this one, $8 for armor. Transcend stone is probably worth it. I'll probably get that. And, tw and then the problem, my problem is they overvalue legendary weapon transcend stones. Normally you wouldn't see them if you're not getting a pack near $80 to $100. So they sell you one individual for $26, which is a gr good deal considering what they value at. And then here, it's a good value compared to what they're priced. You're getting one weapon and two armor for $42 every single time. But the fact is that even if, if I cleared out this whole relay, I could only get White's Weapon to transcend 5. And to me, it just does not appeal. Like, I don't care. I don't I, I don't feel like I want to spend this much just to get up one more weapon transcend. It's not going to make much of a difference. I'm already having a hard time with Rice Pot. And I didn't really push for it. Like, I got to 291 or whatever, or 391. And then I was just like, it's just it's just too much of a hassle. I don't feel like RNGing. I got other things to do. And I just got off the game, you know. So I might only get the first relay. Um, at this moment, I don't want to go any further. Starlight packs, though, I will go for. I am... This is pretty much the only thing I'm going for now is Starlights and Red Summons. I don't think I'm going for anything else. Crafting Legendary and Armor Supports are good. If you're a brand new account and you really want to rush Armor... Uh, or if you're really close to crafting something and you're maybe a couple, you know, gems, ruby gemstones away or finest lessons away, then for sure. But otherwise, skip. I mean, yeah, it's really disappointing to me how the global has been. Just because everything's a pack and everything is just, they're just doing too much, I feel like. You need to slow down. It should be one unit, one new unit a month, like the Korean version started, but now they're trying to catapult us to be one month behind Korea and we're going to be seeing multiple releases plus summer is coming up it's already June uh, Donghae was a surprise to everyone no one expected him to come out anytime soon but you have Emerald Ocean Yon and Water Bomb Commander Zhao Zhao coming up soon 
And they have to be the next ones. I mean, at this, at this point now, they're just, they already catapulted uh, way ahead because I think Dong Hei came out after Elaine and maybe even after Eri and Yeta. Or he was just in between them, I can't remember, but yeah, the release scheduling is insane. So I'll pick these up and then I'm going to just sit comfortably where I'm at. All right, so that's where I'm leaving it off right now. Just kind of crazy thing. I'd be going from like 20 to 30 packs a week to five right now. And I still feel like this is more than I want to do. But the issue is when you're at this level and you already committed this much, it's kind of hard to pull out. Uh, only because if you kind of stop your progress, you really fall behind. And for me, it's not really the FOMO, but I think for everyone else it is. It's just you're going to be too upset for that. And the thing to realize is you're not going to even need packs anymore. Because when you go through all the new um, Tower of Trial stages, you're going to be obtaining more and more books from just using your keys. You know, you're going to be doing more in hardships. You're going to be, you're going to be getting more bookmarks. It's just like you're going to need things less and less as you progress through the game. So I still have all these rice pot golds. Like, I mean, this gets me how much? It gets me 43 mil right now. That will get me almost 12 mil. And this will get me 6 mil. I also have the legendary summon ticket. I was going to stack these up. And just use them whenever it's a unit I, I can pull for. But this is capped out. This is like the original legendaries. <clears throat> and this is just a leg the regular legendaries. So it's kind of crazy to me. <clears throat> so we are going to just use it and get our, sh our extra Shinsu soul. And speaking of Kasano, it is him. I'm up to 11 now. And I'm going to keep up to 20. And then just after 20, I'll spend any extras if I need to or want to. And I did mention it early, but earlier, but they did update the research journal, which I really appreciate it because if you start from level one and you clear that stage, after you finish the battle, it's going to tell you to go to the next level. So you don't have to keep entering back and forth, back and forth. You can just go from level one, repeat all the way to 10 or progress through it and then just repeat nonstop in one screen, not having to go back and forth. I appreciate that change so much because I always hated doing research journal for that reason. And in, li in lighter news, or darker news, I guess, if you've been living in the East Coast area or Canada, there's been a huge haze of smoke from the Cal uh, Canada, not California, Canada wildfires. It's just saying to me, 7 million acres w are burning up there. It's like the whole forest is gone. And there was so much smoke, the air quality has been so bad in New York City that it's been a record low, a record high, I don't know, whatever. Whichever's worse... For the worst air quality in New York City ever in history, because of these fires, the wind just pushed it all this way. You can still see the haze. The moon is the the moon and the sun are literally red when they're up in the sky. It's absolute insanity. Honestly, what's going on? So, for those who don't know, I'm probably gonna go for the blues. As much as I should save it for whenever units are in here that I'm missing, I value getting ignition weapons more than anything right now. I'm still upset that I didn't choose Sachi's ignition weapon from this. And now I missed out because unless I get it through God himself. Even with, I need three, blacks, uh, three blacksmith destiny cards for the ignition weapon to the max and that. And I can't get that. So by the time it happens, it's too late. It's obsolete. I'm just not even worth doing that. So let's use the blues. It should get me hopefully two legendaries. We got a rock. Which the Bond Fates, oh, back to back legendaries is sick. We get uh, White Candy's weapon, so that's pretty cool. I'll take all the legendaries in the world right now. Especially ignition weapons. Like, I am. I would go above and beyond for ignition weapons. Like, I would do a lot of things for ignition weapons right now. So, I, I don't know if it gives them ideas that's an ignition weapon, so that's Zhao Zhao's. So, I'll take that. I don't know where hers is at. Wow, that's a lot of. That's a lot of legendaries. I think I got a knock right there, so that's pretty good. And a Hawakin dupe. So I think that's the only Hawakin dupe I got right now. I think that's Transcend 3. So we're also hoping... Ooh, Transcend 4, I think. I'm hoping to max him. I mean, I'm not going to use him still, probably. Or maybe I will just Transcend him just to see if I can 
Maybe clear rice pot with Hawakin and I can't do it with the other units. That'd be crazy. But I wouldn't doubt it. Um, so as much as I don't, I just, it, he's a skip. I don't want to go for him, but I just want the fate. I know I'm not going to use him. Okay, I kind of, kind of feel like I overkilled with Yuri High. I feel like I should have just gotten her tier 3 also. Instead of 6, but whatever. Uh, so if I get really good luck with Dong Hei, I'll go max him right now. But if I am getting like really bad luck, then tier 3 is all I'm getting. I am not going out of my reds. So please god. And this is already looking really shit, so. Please at least nope, Jin Sung. Already looking like a bad start. But the thing is you never know. It might be really bad in the beginning. It could be really bad from your first three dupes, and it'll be really good towards the end. Or it could be the opposite. It could be really good. Really good in the beginning and really bad at the end. It's just you never know. Already looking bad, so that's Dong Hei. Um, if you're going for Fade, you could just pull him once and that's it. I also forgot he's a scout, so that's kind of bad. Like already a thing. Got 48,000 these God's Breaths, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to at least go for three, so that's Dong Hei. Nope, that's Sachi. Please, for the love of God. Hawaki, that's five, that's good. I think a lot of people are pulling into this banner hoping just to max Hawaki too, so that's. T1, tier 2, good, tier 3, come on, just make it quick and painless, oh, filthy, filthy, that's 3, yeah, okay, so I got him 3, I got 160 reds left, it's just not worth it, I basically just got those two red packs, and I pretty much got him. Maybe a little bit more over that guy in tier 3. So I'm fine with that. I don't know, maybe before the banner ends, if I care, I'll max him. Right now, I'm not in a rush. I mean, he's just a unit I'm not going to use. Alright, we're praying for the fusions. Hoping for Sachi's weapons, if, it, if I do get a pick. You get Hansung's weapon. Getting Legendary is always good, too. And that's going to be it. So Hansung is also T5 now. Or no, that's T6. What am I talking about? Wow, okay. Hansung is double T6. That's kind of crazy. Uh, Zhao Zhao is T5. So it, it kind of makes it more of... Getting a lot of weapons to 5 now. Um, First Storm Bomb also 5 right now. And White Candy is at 3. So that's a good, that's a good milestone. Because he gets the extra ignition time. So, all in all, it's kind of bad, though. I'm getting, like, some weapons that I really wish I could get. I don't know. I mean, like, looking at the ignition weapons, it's just kind of like only Sachi is the only thing to really get that actually improved the account or family ones. And I was supposed to save all my blacksmiths for the family ignitions. Um, but I am waiting to get Ron T6. So, if anything, it'd be after this blacksmith card that I promise I'll save for all the family weapons. Because I'm not getting Dong Hei's ignition weapon. I can care less. I'm not going to reds just for this. He does have the Awakened Shinsu skill that Bong Bong does. So his crit will eventually go up to 200 at T6. But God, wh whoever does double T6 for Dong Hei Hots. Give me that crack or whatever you're doing. Because that is insane. I would never I would never say those sentences in my life. But alright, Hawakin should be maxed. I'm literally one off, are you serious? So I didn't get my last one. But he is better than legendary units. Especially at T6. So I'm just missing his increased defense. He's kinda big. Um, I mean, I would definitely plus 15 Shinsu sold him as well. When it comes to this. But um... I need the Transcendence. And then with Dong Hei, we're going to have this go into three. Which, it's pretty much, I feel like T3 is the safe spot. I mean, you can make a unit a much better by T3. But there are just so, like most of the units, if not 99% of them, will require you to... E6 or nothing, or they're just not really, they're, they can't like use them over other units you have or maxed out in the past. So here we have him, 
Get him equipped. He's at 150k. Missing the fates still for power. But honestly, that, that art is great. His base art, not really that cool. But wow, I'll give it to them. This ignition art is gorgeous. That's what this game has me on. I saw in that marbles game. The art looks more traditional and sticks to the actual webtoon. But honestly, I this game does it so much better with art. I don't care if it's not the official art or not. But this is gorgeous right now. It pains me to know that I can't even use him anywhere. Because he's just not that good. But we'll see what happens next week, you know. Might come back and max him out and we'll see. Sky's the limit at this point. Time for the weekly Tower of Challenge update. So I'm at 44 keys. Yes, this could probably get me a purple pet. At least a couple purple pets. Even if I am going to um, have to fuse them all the way up. Um, but I just don't want to do that. So I'm going to keep holding on. Alright, I guess it's time to do the fates. So, since they split it up, I'm going to have no choice. Uh, just to get it going. I'm going to get them all to 20. And if the time ever comes to where I'm missing starlights, I'll just start resetting 25s. But I don't need either of them at 25 at this time. So I'm just going to balance this out. It should be a pretty good power boost. So with this current team, I'm going to have 962k to judge off of, and then we're going to see what getting two more level 20 fates will raise me up to. Alright, there we have it. So, got them both to 20. 46 starlights left, and technically I could probably push someone else to 25, but I just don't need anyone boosted at this time. I would probably boost Joaquin, um, but he's just not, he's not going to be used until tier 6, so... Uh, also, you don't really even need to really get Donkey Hots to T3 if you're trying to do Fate. You could just get him to plus 2, but you can at least unlock level 20. But if you are planning on at least trying to use him and getting to level 25 for his last uh, selected power character power-up boost, then you do want to get him tier 3, and then obviously you're going to need him tier 4 for our last one if you ever want the full power. But to get level 30s... Her power is insane. At this rate, we do not get enough starlights for me to keep up with the starlight pack and the ways to obtain them weekly. And then for the new units to keep coming in and out. Like, it's ridiculous. I wanted to get every single thing 25 and then start pushing for the power boost at 30. At least all the units that I used at 25 and then just probably, you know, go for everything else. But... No, the game doesn't let you do that, especially when they split the fate up right now and then they drop a new unit on top of that. Probably never going to be ahead on Starlights. And it's just a shame, it's just a shame. <clears throat> so, I did go up to 969k power from 2 level 20, so that's about a 7k power boost. I do value fates over even equipment. I don't, I don't think I'm quite at that 1 million mark. I know I could do a bunch more. I know I could probably do a bunch more God's Inventory right now. Maybe push to the next level even. Um, but I'm just not quite there to reach 1 million power. Just going to do my daily shop stuff. So I do always clear out all the keys. All the accelerators with diamonds and gold. Especially accelerators. I think they're like so worth it. Because of how much time it takes to use uh, keys, I just always get them. From Ranker Coins, I do always get the blues. And I'm still a ways away from getting another Royal Set for the God's Inventory. But I'm only going for Royal Sets or Books whenever they get added. It's been a while since we had a book. From Family Coin, I only end up going for Starlights. I don't go for anything else. So I'm also just I'm also just keeping extra four thousand for if the next book is family coins I can get it. If the next book is ranker coins I can get it. I'm trying to stay above the threshold. Betting shop, I have not been buying a single thing in this. I mean I think I would only end up getting the breakthrough stones, but I'm not pushing for that anytime soon. Administrator seals, always get the weeklies, always get the monthlies even. But at this point, I'm not really rushing for that either, because legendary equipment just takes forever. Now, summon-wise, um, 
probably good to get legendary armor breakthroughs. Character select doesn't matter because Hawking's not in here right now. Eventually, he's going to be added to this, but who knows when that's happening. Well, you always want to get your reds from this. And I always get the weekly gift boxes. And then I do actually always get these, so... Might as well. I mean, I, I, am, I have way too many summons. I just don't get the last one, the ones that are 70. If I was desperate for coins, sure. But right now, I am, like, far from desperate for anything. It's like all my resources are too stacked. God's Trace. You can get another 10 reds that you can't forget about getting. Um, you can also get some keys from this, so... Pick that up. I also always get the weekly gift box here. And I also always get the monthly coins. And soul stones, I'm just saving for the shining soul. But for the purples, always get the legendary random ticket. And always get the fate gift boxes. And then for Hawakin, I'd end up having to get these soul stones. Uh, Shinsu souls, but I do have 30 um, So I could just use those Weapon essence, I'm just holding on probably just get more secret tomes in the future We have our legendary guarantee. No, I wish it was a legendary guarantee Just a random selector from the original units So I get Daniel from that another sh shining Shinsu Shinsu soul. I hate saying that word so much Um, I do have these hourglass things to claim though, so I'm just gonna use it. I mean, I don't. It makes no sense to hold on to these. But it's gonna give me 222 hourglasses. 100% though, that weekly pack is gonna be a must have to get. Still a long ways from level 8. And uh, I guess we could go over to High Ranker Wars progress. So, I must say, I hate this feature. Only because there's two parts there's your actual battle rank. And your total rank. So the issue I have is you have to be the first person awake in the morning to climb through your battle rank and you have a limit of 10 fights on Saturday and 10 fights on Sunday but you could buy another five chances each day for 2.5 million coins but the problem is that you have to like literally be up in the morning to get it because you get points calculated per minute and I fell so far behind on total rank because I did not, I was so busy I didn't get on until like 8pm on Saturday and I missed the whole day. So even though my rank is so high up there, <laughs> I fell down so high total points wise. But, you know, it's in a sense where you could be a lot lower power. And as long as you get your rank early in the morning, you can be up there against a lot of other people. Um, and the reward in info you can see here, so... So you get the total rank or you get the individual so the total rank is basically what gives you the frame if you're it kind of i find it so dumb personally so it's like oh no this is just for both the modes the only high ranker gets the frame um but yeah they gave the rewards out i feel like i got the i think the reward is just all about the total rank not even battle rank so I'm going to make sure that Saturday morning I get on this game and I jump on and straight push this because I missed on a lot of rewards just because of uh, not knowing how the system works, but it is how it is. Battle rank wise though, I was able to push to top 8. I don't think I could have beaten anyone above it. Um, I know I did try on the last day. So at least I would say power wise I'm top 8. Oh, don't tell me Baz actually. God dong hey T6 T6 please for the life of God. If anyone will do it be Baz. And I'll just leave this off with some administrator. Um just to see what the next set of relics would boost my damage to. Even though I don't really have the one I'd probably want to use. With this setup, I did clear 102 million on Monday. And uh, we're gonna see what this goes up to. With another set of red damage boosting relics.
That's actually pretty good. Went up about 15 million damage. I might be able to push for 120 later. Uh, if I do some guys inventory and a couple adjustments, but yeah, that's quite the big change. So I'm just gonna end this off here, guys. I mean, I'm really not having the time today to push for progress, so I'm not gonna try for chapter 17 or hard story or even right spot today, probably. Um, if I do, probably be in next week's video for sure. And I'm also glad that the level cap hasn't raised again. I feel like it's probably going to raise next week though. We're getting a lot more people to be level 50 now, or 250. So I'm glad that I managed to catch up a little bit in levels. I would ideally like to get capped out before it goes up to 300, but probably going to go up to 300 next week, if not the week after that. And I'm still not going to be buying levels. So at least with story chapter progression, you should get me. So like level 237 maybe and i feel like if you're probably kept out level 250 you're not going to push any more story progression because you're going to miss out on the xp unless it's just going to keep stacking and when the level update hits you're going to just jump up levels anyway i don't know i don't know how the level system works because i've never been in the cap to find out for myself that's gonna be all for today guys live moss and stay free to play